anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about measure supposition percentile of ungrouped data. What is measure supposition? This is a technique that divides a set of data into equal groups. Last time, we discussed quartile and decile. Right now, we will discuss percentiles of ungrouped data. What is percentiles of ungrouped data? Percentiles are the score points which divide the distribution into 100 equal parts. If we divide this in 100 equal parts, so if this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so that is 10, 11, 12, so 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then 100. In a percent, the start that is 0%, so, P sub 10, that is equal to 10%, but the 1%, 2%, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9. So, here. Next, P sub 20, that is 20%. So, the P sub 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, P sub 30, that is 30%. P sub 40, that is 40%. P sub 50, that is 50%. P sub 60, that is 60%. P sub 70, that is equal to 70%. P sub 80, that is 80%. P sub 90, that is 90%. And then 100%. So, you will find P sub 51. So, right here, this is P sub 51. If this is P sub 35, so this one, that is P sub 35. What could be the formula for the percentiles of ungrouped data? P sub k class, it is equal to k times the quantity n plus 1 all over 100. So where k, that is the n percentile, and then the n, that is total of frequency. In example number 1, let us find the value of the percentile 45 in the given 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, and then 12. It must be arranged in ascending order or descending order. As you can see, the given is arranged in ascending order. So right now, we can solve now the P sub K class and the formula it is equal to K times the quantity N plus 1 all over 100. The value of K that is equal to 45. So P sub 45 class it is equal to the value of k that is equal to 45 and then n if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is equal to 6. So p sub 45 plus equals 45 times 6 plus 1 that is 7 all over 100. 45 times 7 equals 315 over 100. If we divide 315 over 100 that is equal to 3.5. 0.15 or if we move the decimal point to the left so 1 2 that is equal to 3.15 it means the value of the observation is between third and then fourth so this is the third and then fourth so let us continue to solve for the percentile 45 so the whole number that is the third plus the decimal point that is 0 0.15 multiply it with the fourth minus the third the third, that is equal to 5 plus 0 0.15. The fourth, replace it with 7. The third, replace it with 5. And then 7 minus 5, that is equal to 2. And then the rest, copy P sub 45, copy 5 plus 0 0.15, and then 7 minus 5 equals 2. So we will solve the parentheses 0 0.15 times 2. And then the rest, Copy P sub 45 equals copy 5. 0 0.15 times 2 
equal 0 0.3. 5 plus 0 0.3, that is equal to 5.3. So the percentile 45, it is equal to 5.3. In example number 2, we have the same given 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, and 12 that is arranged in ascending order. But right now, let us identify the value of P sub 68. So the formula, P sub K class, it is equal to K times the quantity N plus 1 all over 100. The value of K equals 68. So P sub 68 class, it is equal to K, 68. The value of N, that is 6 plus 1 all over 100. So copy 68, 6 plus 1 equals 7, and then copy all over 100. 68 times 7 equals 476, copy all over 100. So move the decimal places to the left, the lower, so that is equal to 4.76. Or if we divide 476 divided by 100, that is also equal to 4.76. So it means the value of the observation is between the fourth and then the fifth. So the fourth, that is equal to 7, and then the fifth, that is equal to 10. So P sub 68 is equal to the whole number fourth plus the decimal point 0 0.76, multiply it with the fifth minus the fourth. So the fourth, replace it with 7, copy 0 0.76, fifth, replace it with 10, minus the fourth, replace it with 7. 10 minus 7 equals 3. So bring down P sub 68, bring down 7, bring down 0 0.76. 10 minus 7 equals 3. Afterwards, let us continue. Bring down P sub 68, bring down 7. 0 0.76 times 3 equals 2.28. If we add the whole number, 7 plus 2 is 9. So P sub 68 equals 9.28. How about in example number T? Same given, that is 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, and 12. But right now, we need to identify the value of the P sub 18. So P sub K class, it is equal to K times the quantity N plus 1 all over 100. The value of K, that is equal to 18. So let us replace P sub 18 class, it is equal to the value of K, 18. Replace N by 6 plus 1 all over 100. Bring down 18, 6 plus 1 equals 7 all over 100. So 18 times 7 equals 126 over 100. So move the decimal places to the left, tooth. So it means 1.26 or 126 divided by 100, that is 1.26. It means the value of the observation is between the first and the second. So let us continue. Percentile 18, that is equal to the first plus the decimal point 0 0.26, multiply it with the second minus the first. So let us replace all the numbers. P sub 18, that is equal to the first, 1, plus 0 0.26, second, that is 3, minus the first, 1. So 3 minus 1 equals 2. So bring down P sub 18, bring down 1 plus 0 0.26, and then times 2. So afterwards, we need to multiply 0 0.26 times 2. So P sub 18 equals 1, 0 0.26 times 2, so positive 0 0.52. So let us add 1 plus 0 is 1, so no whole number, so that becomes 1.52. So the piece of 18, that is equal to 1.52. How about in example number 4? The scores of 10 students of grade 10 generosity in a 30-item test are 6, 9, 12, 19, 29, 25, 23, 21, 20, and 13. Find the value of the P sub 15. First, we need to arrange in ascending order. So, hanapin natin yung pinakamababa. So, yung pinakamababa, that is 6. Next to 6 is 9. And then 12. 13. After 13 is 19. 20. 
21, 23, 25, and then 29. If this given is arranged in ascending order, so let us solve now the piece of k class. The formula it is equal to k times the quantity n plus 1 all over 100. So the value of k, that is equal to 15. So p sub 15 class equals 15. And then let us count the scores of the student that is equal to 10 plus 1 over 100. So p sub 15 class, it is equal to 15. 10 plus 1, that is equal to 11 all over 100. So 15 times 11 equals 165 over 100. 165 over 100, move the decimal places to the left along basis, so that becomes P sub 15 is equal to 1.65. It means the value of the observation is between the first and then the second. So the first is 6 and then the second, that is 9. So let us continue. P sub 15, that is equal to first plus the decimal point, 0 0.65, multiply it with the second, minus the first. The value of the first, that is equal to 6, copy 0 0.65. The value of the second, that is equal to 9, minus the value of the first, that is equal to 6. 9 minus 6, that is equal to 3. And then the rest, copy. Copy piece of 15, copy 6, copy 0 0.65. 9 minus 6, the answer is equal to 3. Afterwards, let us multiply the parentheses. So, bring down P sub 15, bring down 6. 0 0.65 times 3 equals 1.95. So, let us add. 6 plus 1 is 7. So, P sub 15, that is equal to 7.95. How about example number 5? The ages of 13 math teachers of Laurel High School are 36, 24, 28, 22, 33, 35, 44, 30, 31, 27, 30, 34, and 37. Find the value of the P sub 80. You can arrange the ages in ascending order or descending order. It depends on you. Right now, we need to arrange in ascending order. So the lowest ages, that is 22, 24, next is 27, 28, 30, another 30, 31, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 44. So right now, it is arranged in ascending order. So let us solve now the P sub K class equals K times the quantity N plus 1 all over 100. Let us replace the value of K by 80. So P sub 80 class, it is equal to K, 80, and then n, if we count, equals um, 13. So 13 plus 1 all over 100. So P sub 80 class equals 80. 13 plus 1 is 14 all over 100. 80 times 14, it is equal to 1,120 over 100. So move the decimal places to the left, the lone basis, so that becomes 11.20. Or if we divide... 1,120 divided by 100, it is also equal to 11.20. It means the value of the observation is from 11 to 12. So the 11 is 36 and then the 12, that is 37. So let us continue. P sub 80, that is 11 plus the decimal point 0 0.20, the 12, that is equal to 37, and then the 11, that is 36. So let us replace P sub 80, 11, that is 36, plus 0 0.20, the 12, that is 37, minus 36. So 37 minus 36 equals 1. So bring down 36, bring down 0 0.20 times 1. Afterwards, let us multiply 0 0.20 times 1. So bring down 36, 0 0.20 times 1, that is equal to 0 0.20. So 36 plus 0 is 36. So it means 36 plus 0 0.20, the answer is 36.20. So P sub 80 equals 36.20. Instruction, solve the unknown value using percentile formula. 
Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.